Traders, FS Fergaletti here. Today is Monday, September 9th, and I'm going to be analyzing gold starting on the monthly, working my way all the way down to the one hour time frame for the full top down analysis. So, on gold, I still think this monthly time frame is so, so extremely clearly a wave one, a wave two, and this is a wave three. We are pretty much at that 161.8, which is usually the minimum target for wave three. We have to keep in mind that wave threes can and often do go way beyond the 161.8 but it does seem like a pretty likely area to make a wave 4 and potentially make a wave 5. So taking it down to the weekly time frame. On the weekly time frame still no break of starts to the downside still no lower high telling us that this wave 3 is over yet. I still think this is the 1, this is the 2 and this is all subdivisions of the wave 3. So you got like a 1 of 3 2 of 3, 3 of 3, 4 of 3 and this is potentially still a wave 5 of wave 3. I have a wave 5 target on here also, which is right around the 2550-2560 area, which is the wave 3 measured projecting off the bottom of the wave 4, which is usually how you get your targets for wave 5. So going down to the 4 hour time frame, man, gold is like literally completely sideways for several, several weeks now. I think it is a wave 4, probably a wave 4 of wave 5. Now the question is, is it going to go down, make a bigger crescent before it goes up? Or is it going to make another lower high because it potentially already made 3 waves down and now it's going to make a higher low that is and continue up for a wave 5. Let's take a look at it on the 4 hour time frame. So it kind of, I've been going kind of back and forth on this a little bit because, I mean, this does kind of look like a wave A. This does kind of look like three waves up for wave B. This definitely does look like a potential downtrend. So let's let's draw this out again. So impulsive down wave A, one, two, three waves up wave B. If that's the case, then this is potentially already going down for wave C, which would potentially have it going down to one of these lower fib levels before it actually does continue back up for the bigger wave five. So I do think this is the most likely scenario, especially because this sets it right here all looks like one big corrective wave B. So let's keep that in mind. Let's head down to the one hour time frame. So on the one hour time frame, it looks like it pulse it down, definitely. Now, this right here could be a complete crutch, and I mean, it could have already made a wave 2, and this potentially could already be going down for a wave 3 of wave C, which is a wave C of wave 4 on the higher time frames. But looking at all the other dollar pairs, it kind of seems like it might dr drift up a little bit, make a little bit of a more proper looking A, B, C crutch in, like a wave 1, a wave 2, maybe come back up into this area then go down for the bigger wave three but like i often say sometimes what i think is a wave b is actually the continuation of the trend so definitely keep in mind that the trend is technically down we had a break of structure to the downside right here so the trend is technically down it should probably be primarily looking for sorts in a downtrend at the end of three wave pullbacks especially on these sort of time frames so don't forget to join my free Discord group, which is linked over here in the corner. And as always, thank you and happy trading.